I am here with Luna. Luna has a very high maintenance coat, so we're going to get started working on her. To brush her out, we're going to need several tools. I like the Artero Flexible Slicker Brush, the Chris Christensen Poodle Comb number 004, the Chris Christensen Face Comb number 006, and a rat tail comb. And this is a Madden pin brush. Ouchless hair bands come in handy too. You can get these on Amazon. I use eye groom sprays, the Magic Detangler and the Squalane Care. I love those sprays. So I am misting her over with the Squalane Care. This makes the brushing go so much better and I'm starting with the Madden pin brush. And I'm lightly brushing that conditioner through the coat. And my main purpose at this point is to break up the hair and to run the conditioner through it. And I wanna get all the hair going in one direction. And now I'm going to lift up the hair and start line brushing. With line brushing, you simply create a line and you wanna see all the way down to the skin and brush from the skin out. And you'll do this feeding a little bit more hair down as you go, creating a new line. And go over the entire dog, doing the line brushing technique with the pen brush. The dog can freely move around, stand up, lay down. It doesn't really matter. I give them freedom of movement rather than making them stay in one spot. So as you're doing this process, you will find tangles here and there. Here I have found a tangle. So I'm going to take my squalane care and spray it directly into the tangle and break it up with my fingers. And once I feel I have it sufficiently broken up, I'm going to use my slicker brush and pick at it. Typically it'll come out pretty, pretty easily. Using my pin brush to make sure it's brushed through. And continue on with my line brushing. On the feet, I typically use my slicker brush instead of the pin brush. I find that works much better. So that's like the bottom half of the leg and the feet. Just lightly brush over those. Now I'm going to get her hair out of her eyes. So I am brushing the hair back with the pin brush. I'm using a top knot pillow for her comfort. combing her beard down and out of the way. Use my rat tail comb to create a line, a part in her hair, and the fine teeth on the rat tail comb to pull the top knot up. And now I'm going to put in the ouchless hairband wrap it around about three times and that'll keep her hair up nice. So now I'm going to use my Chris Christensen wide tooth comb and some Igram magic spray. I misted it over the coat. And I'm going to run my comb through the coat to lay the hair down make sure there's no tangles and I have found one. So I've isolated the knot in question. 
I'm going to start by picking at it with the brush and see if it'll come right out. They're rather small. And after picking a few times, I'm seeing that it's not loosening up. So I'm going to get my squalene care and mist it into the knot, right directly into it. and pick it apart with my fingers. Then pick at it with the brush some more. And this is why the combing process is so important. If I would not have combed through her, I would not have found these couple of little knots. So whenever you are doing your routine maintenance with your dog, you want to use your comb as a checking tool to see if you've gotten all the knots out of the hair. Anytime that you wash your dog or anytime that you brush your dog, you should always comb through the hair from the skin out. So I'm sinking this comb all the way to the skin. The combing is the most important part. You always want to be careful to check the high friction areas like under the arms. And you never want to leave it till the next day. If you find knots with the comb, you must get them out that same day. So I'm going over her entire body checking every inch. I'm asking her to sit down so that you can see where I'm setting the part. And I am misting on the eye groom magic spray. And I am taking my Madden pin brush and brushing all the hair from the head down towards the tail. This will help me to set the part. I'm going to use one end of my wide tooth comb and set the part in about thirds on the dog. I don't try to do the whole thing at once. The trick is, is to get it done before the dog shakes its hair. Now I'm going to spray the spray directly onto the part, rather close to the part. The idea of this is to set my part this way, if she shakes her hair, the part will stay in place. That's a good girl. Almost finished. Now I'm going to brush all the hair back down again. And put a bow in her hair. Just make sure all the hair is going in the right direction. This will help keep it tangle free. So she's got a little bit of staining around her eyes. I am going to use a squish face on her. I can rub it right onto the stain and it dries into a powder after a few minutes. And I like this being in this form because I can control exactly where it goes rather than a powder which might be loose up around the face, around the eyes.
She's such a good girl. Thank you for watching.